Uh, we're going to watch a video on uh, the colonizing nature of the Israeli occupation. And uh, as usual, I have a very short clip for you here uh, by uh, Professor Normal Finkelstein, a Jewish professor that is uh, quite an expert in, in the issue of uh, Palestine. Since the early part of the 20th century, mm -hmm. there was some cooperation but mostly, I think it's fair to say, there was a competition and a conflict between the indigenous population of Palestine at the time, the Palestinian Arabs, and the Jewish settlers or colonizers. At the time, it was called the Jewish Colonization Society. He's using very specific words. And some people may find it very uncomfortable when uh, we refer to the Israeli occupation as colonialism. Some people find that very hard to believe, but that is the fact. That is actually the specific word that he uses is Jewish Colonization Society. And it was the name given to it at the time. It was what it was known as. Let's finish the clip. Uh, Jewish colonizers, uh, there was a competition uh, and eventually that competition became a full-fledged Arabs. So he is, he's discussing at the time, at, at first there was like land acquisition and things of that sort, but when it became apparent and after the 1917 uh, Balfour Declaration, things started becoming more and more uh, bold. So the use of force came into into being, then came the Haganah and uh, all the other things. So I'll mention a few things on that. And the Jewish settlers or colonizers, at the time it was called the Jewish Colonization Society, uh, Jewish colonizers, uh, there was a competition. So at the time, uh, this specific wording of uh, Jewish Colonization Society was given uh, to the settlers that were dominating the land. Okay, uh, let's talk about colonization again. I have here a quotation, a characterization from Robert Bob Bloner. Uh, he's an American sociologist, college professor, and audit, uh, author. He introduced the theory of internal uh, colonization. So according to him, uh, there are four components of the dynamics of colonization. That's what makes colonization a colonization, according to him, is four uh, features, characteristics. One, uh, he says, forced entry into a territory and its op uh, population. You could think of the Nakba in 1948. You can think of the Haganah, militant organizations uh, facilitating the land grabbing at the time. First, it was like uh, land buying, like some, some, some type of acquisition, but later on it became forceful. So that's one criteria. The second criteria being alteration uh, or destruction of the indigenous culture and patterns of social organization, which all of us could agree uh, that there is a cultural genocide in uh, undergoing in, in Palestine. The state having specifically uh, becoming a Jewish state, which has uh, something to do with ethnicity and religion at the time, that could also be considered as the domination uh, or destruction uh, of indigenous culture and patterns of social organization, because it is now becoming an exclusive state. Uh, so the state is changing its structure into becoming something that it was not in the past. The third criteria is domination of in the indigenous population by representatives of the invading society. That being apparent in uh, Israel be being a Jewish state by itself and uh, the, the Palestinians uh, receiving less rights uh, because uh, they do not ascribe to those identities. So it's uh, clearly an apartheid and that's uh, how it has been characterized. The fourth criteria by Bob Lerner, justification of such activities was highly prejudicial, racist beliefs and stereotypes. And this is apparent. The Palestinians have always been seen as uh, subhuman. Uh, they have been dehumanized and they have been portrayed as threats to uh, a modern society in the Middle East. Uh, they have uh, been shown as something against democracy, equality. All such things that the Israeli propaganda machine has done is very much apparent in uh, the force criteria of uh, colonization, according to uh, Robert Bob Lerner. That makes it very clear that what has been going on in, in Palestine, uh, the occupation by Israel, 
uh, with the green light of the Western powers, especially Britain, which had a mandate before 1948 over Palestine, and we chose to give it, give it over to, to, to the Jewish administration. This is apparently a continuation uh, and a manifestation of a colonial structure, which has uh, also has like apartheid features. If you enjoyed the video, uh, stay subscribed. Thank you.